People often remember just a moment of a match and forget the minutes, games and seasons that led to where we are. They often say that a picture is worth a thousand words. Well here is a thousand words on this moment in 2010 that would define one man, Leroy Kudjo. Welcome to the Immaculate Interception. The day is Saturday, September the 18th, 2010 at the Halliwell Jones Stadium. Huddersfield Giants have fought to a 23-0 lead in the first half of their Super League playoff match against Warrington. The Wolves fought back to 28-22 with just under two minutes remaining. The Giants, despite having a seemingly unassailable lead, find themselves under pressure and facing a resurgent attacking side who have turned it on in the second half to cut the lead back to just six points and now looking for a chance to cut that deficit to just two with another try. But how did this game even come about? How did we get to the stage where these two teams faced off? Let's start with our opponents. Warrington finished in their best position since 1994 under the tutelage of Tony Smith, who arrived in the 2009 season and won the Challenge Cup in his first year in charge. Although we don't really remember who they defeated in the final. Smith was no stranger to Huddersfield fans. Hamid Cutty's coaching tee for the club was regarded up until very recently as the greatest coach of the modern era for the Giants. Led by the mercurial half Lee Breers, the Wolves side developed a unique attacking style with their four starting wingers and centres Chris Riley, Ryan Atkins, Matt King and Chris Higgs scored 27, 15, 20 and 32 tries respectively over the course of the year up to that point. They came into the playoffs with the back of six wins from eight games, with their two defeats being by less than four points. But lost to St. Helens in the first round of the playoffs meant they had to beat the Giants to reach their first ever Super League semi-final. Most pre-match talk focused on club call, who St. Helens were picking their semi-final, Warrington on rivals Wigan. Most pundits hadn't even considered a Giants victory, and with the record the Wolves had over the Giants in 2010, this was, well, fair enough. Huddersfield came into the game after a record break in 2009 season in which they had gained their best ever Super League finish. A first ever Man of Steel in Brett Hodgson, a second ever playoff appearance in the Super League era and a second Challenge Cup final in three years. The main reason for this success was the July 2008 appointment of 34 year old former St George Illawarra coach Nathan Brown. Brown arrived with former West and New South Wales fullback Brett Hodgson and transformed the Giants, turning them from mid-table also runs into title contenders overnight. Brown has started coaching at the age of 29 and was the youngest ever non-playing coach in the history of the NRL. He had revived the Giants after a poor 2008 season and transformed the team into a cutting edge, state-of-the-art rugby side based around the creativity of Brett Hodgson, Kevin Brown, Danny Brough and Luke Robinson and a defence that conceded the fewest points in 09 and the second fewest in 2010. The new era at Huddersfield threatened to be derailed mid-season however as two of the leaders of the revolution at the club seemed set to leave. On the 28th of April, after much speculation the club announced that Man of Steel and Captain Brett Hodgson would leave to join Warrington. Hodgson was injured at the time but returned to a home crowd a few weeks later, suffered a humiliating 64 loss to Warrington in his first game back. Brown himself announced that he would be returning back to Australia at the end of the season in May, in the middle of a four match losing run. The Giants were given much needed good news as Brown reversed his decision on the 11th of July and after all the disruption the Giants hit back. Huddersfield went on to win 8 out of the last 9 Super League games after the announcement. They put down a marker for their playoff rivals with an 18-16 win at Leaders Wigan. With the Giants even being reduced to 11 men for some of the game. In the 2009 playoffs, losses against St. Helens and Catalans ended the season with frustrating displays. In their first playoff game in 2010, against Crusaders however, the Giants snatched their first playoff victory with a late try from the man of the moment, Leroy Kudjo. Kudjo had a breakthrough year in 2010, scoring 23 tries up to tonight, including that winning try against the men from Wales. But in the first half it was the defence that stood up. 
The Giants defence smothering the Wolves, restricting the movement and passing of the Warrington players and shutting them out. In the second half, however, Smith got the Wolves firing. They scored twice through short range efforts from Mickey Hyam. The Warrington attack connected with Chris Riley twice to make the scores 22 27. With two minutes to play after another bruff drop goal, the Giants faced down the full assault of the Wolves' red hot attack. The Giants would be able to run the clock down to around 30 seconds, providing they won the ball back off the short kickoff. But when it came, Kudrow was outrun by Matt King to win the ball back and set up another set of six 40 metres out. With the losers' season over, consider how we got here. The coach who decided to leave, but then came back. The star fullback who was set to join the opposition at the end of the season and a team who had been humiliated by Warrington and looked set to give up an unassailable lead in the playoff. Kudjo is also standing way too narrow and allowed two Warrington players on the overlap, meaning anything other than an interception will see King or Chris Hicks who has scored 52 tries between them in 2010 strolling in to cut the lead to two with very little time remaining. He had to get it right, but we wouldn't really be talking about it if he didn't. Welcome to the Immaculate Interception. Two remaining for Warrington, Monaghan, get to the way, this is Bridge, Bridge to Mathers, oh, picked out of the air by Kudjo! Has he got the legs? Has Kudjo! he got the legs? Kudjo is going to go all the way! He's going to win it for the Giants! Kudjo seals Huddersfield's win! Huddersfield will march on. Kudjo plucked the ball out of the air and went the length of the field. Leroy Kudjo has scored the try that takes the Huddersfield Giants another step on the road to Old Trafford. Leroy Kudjo, 23rd try of the campaign. There has never been a more precious one than that.